Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you in a few simple steps how to password protect a directory inside your website using your cPanel. So when you log into cPanel, generally the top area will be files and the third icon across directory privacy. That's what we want for this. So click that. Now generally that's going to show you the root directory of your website with all these funny looking folders. Public HTML is usually where all your files are. So don't click on the word, you click on the little folder to go inside that folder. It gets me every time. So when you're in there, you'll see a list of the folders within your public HTML folder. Now there's my WordPress folders. Uh, now this directory here I've just added for example called my files that's the one I want to password protect in this instance so this time I do click on the word go in there now first of all you just want to tick the box which says password protect this directory which is what we're doing here so we will click that and then enter a name for this protected directory now this can be anything you like this is just what appears in the pop-up box when people are trying to access this folder so in this case we might just call it admin only Press save. So there we go. It is now password protect. It's, it's now, there's now access permissions for that folder. So now what we need to do is actually create a username and password so we can access the folder. So username can be anything you like. Uh, admin works fine. Generally something a bit more obscure might be better. But uh, for this example, we're just going to use admin. Uh, now for the password, this can be, um, you know, obviously anything you like, but to use the password generator, I strongly recommend that because uh, these folders sitting up there on the web are getting, you know, they'll be getting hacked and, and you know, that sort of thing all the time. So you want to uh, try and keep them pretty well protected. So you can use this password generator. Every time I hit generate password, it comes up with something. They're, they're always pretty obscure and there's many different characters in them when you use the password generator. The advanced options here, you can, you know, to make it a bit simpler to remember, maybe you might want to go lowercase and maybe you don't want symbols, maybe you just want numbers, something like that. So copy that, select it, control C, paste it somewhere so you, offline so you know what that password is for later and then tick the box, I have copied this password in a safe place, use password. It'll rate your password. Obviously, if you just use something like password, you would get a red line and it would say not strong enough. But in this case, that's a pretty obscure password, so we've got the green light. Now I press save. Uh, your browser may offer you an option to save that, that password. So it's gonna tell you, so the user admin now has the password there to access that folder. And so basically when you try and access that folder, it's gonna pop up and ask for that username and password. So now that folder is now protected. 